All right, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, we are currently just exploring some of the points of interest before we proceed with any of the uh, side quests or uh, main storylines. Uh, because Velen's huge. <laughs> There's a lot to see here. Um, the next thing that we're going to do once we've explored the points of interest is uh, pr either look for the Ladies of the Wood um, that Kira pointed us to in Crookback Bog, or we are going to go back and see if we can uh, confront that werewolf um, that the hunter and the, the hunter who's missing wife and uh, sister, that whole thing. Uh, we will return to that. Either, either one of those two, I haven't quite decided yet. But for now, let's go looking at the points of interest. All right, so what do I want to look at first? Da -da -da. Well, the isolated shack is where the um, the werewolf thing is happening. I think let's go to this one first because then we'll go down here and then back up here. Move it! Whoa there, Roach! It's a camp with a bunch of enemies. And they just spotted me, okay. Oh, it's an abandoned site. Ha ha. Renegades, huh? This uh, archer is getting to be a bit of a pain. And of course, the only healing items I have are alcohol, so that's no fun. Gotta wait for this kind of blurriness to go away. Miraculously, I seem to be surviving. <laughs> Kill him, damn it. With that uh, sculpture in the middle, it kind of looks a little bit like a religious site. Alright, let's, uh... And people seem very unwell. Thank <laughs> you. 
not gonna lie, I'm kind of surprised that I survived that. What with the, um... I tend to, to not do well with the, uh, the alcohol blurry screen effect in this game. Because it uh, comes on quickly and it's uh, fairly intense. Some games I can do just fine with the alcohol blurry effect. This game, a little, uh, little bit tougher. What's this guy here? Oh, he's an herbalist. What? Got anything interesting? Such a conversationalist, this herbalist. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to look at what I can sell or and or what I want to buy. Uh, I will see you on the other side. And he doesn't have much, so... <laughs> Farewell. He's also very much so not interested in buying most of what I have on me. Uh, though, going through that did just um, remind me that I have these saddlebags for Roach which I don't currently have equipped, so I'm going to do that. Um, 70 maximum inventory weight. There we go, so that upped me from 120 to 190 maximum weight. Awesome. That is a beautiful sun effect. Alright, so what next? Where am I gonna go? Uh, da -da -da. That would be this one down here. <laughs> but first, I need to meditate. a chest here. Just a random chest in the middle of nowhere. It's got a dwarven spirit. Okay. Somehow that seems very dwarf-like to me. Ah, it's a bandit camp. <laughs> Don't let him catch his breath. Hero, hey. Saying, <laughs> I think that's all of them. Pirate leader's notes. Well, that's interesting. It's not often the pirates leave notes. Uh, nothing quite like war. The Redanians and the Nilfgaardians are at each other's throats, and no one pays a whit of attention to us. We could rob, raid, and kill till we get bored of it, which will never happen. 
Usually I never set ashore near populated places, but this time we had no choice. Our boat started taking on water after the last storm. We had to drag her onto dry land for some repairs. We were ready for a fight when we stepped onto the beach, but no one even tried to chase us off. Someone, sometimes one of the Baron's blowhards comes to come to us, but taking care of them is no trouble. Since we're not in any particular hurry, I've decided to build us a new vessel instead of patching up the old dinghy. Why not? Best take advantage of the turmoil while it lasts. I hear there's a, a boatyard nearby. That'll do just fine. And while we wait for a new ship, I'll send men out to look around for Queen Zuleika's famous treasure. If it's worth a tenth of what I've heard, we'll all be rich. Well, I will at least. Haha. <laughs> Queen Zuleika's famous treasure. Oh no, there's still. Ah, oh yeah, there's still an enemy. Diagram Griffin Steel Sword Enhanced. Ooh, an enhanced steel sword. Oh, it looks like I went in the back way because that's kind of like the front entrance there. <laughs> yeah, well, works for me. Spike Ru Gakatan. Oh, I wonder if this is the Queen's treasure. It's what I'm already wearing. Alright. Uh, first of all, meditate after the battle. And where am I going to go next? I never have any luck with these ones out on the water, but I'm still going to explore it. I'm not going to bother taking Roach since I'm so close to the water anyway. Smuggler's Cash. One of these days I'm going to have to try and figure out how on earth you're supposed to fight underwater. Because I have no idea. Unfortunately, well, much to my surprise, there are no drowners or anything like that around this particular point of interest. Alright, so next up will be another offshore one. <laughs> My guess is it's that ship there. You can kind of see um, through the mist the um, the mast of it. Yeah, I could have swam from where I was, but um, I kind of wanted to see if there was a boat or something like that along the uh, along the shore. 
Uh, I managed to skip that one and get to the next point of interest, which is a guarded treasure guarded by some drowners. Oh, they're just level four. Not a big deal. I don't think they even got a hit on me that time. Alright, so to try and avoid uh, drowners in the water, I'm gonna kind of leapfrog island to island. If I can. Yeah, there's something down there, but I don't know what. Well, this is probably going to go very badly for me. Uh, I remember one of the tutorials or something said something along the lines of you can't fight, but you can use your, your crossbow. Yeah, I have no idea how the heck you're supposed to be able to deal with these things. Aside from maybe, like, drawing them out onto land. I want to use my crossbow, not Igni. Oh, wrong button. Haha. <laughs> okay. I was using R2, and apparently I needed to use R1. But even using R1 does nothing right now. Well, I've managed to draw the Drowner away, so I'm just going to try and race for the chest. I don't think there's anything else. So I'm gonna get back to that island as quick as I can. Yeah, I'm not, I don't really understand what the game wants me to do there. I mean, it goes out of its way to put things like, um, to put things like treasure chests underwater and put enemies guarding them, but then takes away my ability to fight the enemies. Unless it's like, it wants me to 
not engage them or somehow lure them away like I did this one, I have no idea. Alright, next up... What the hell, let's do the other offshore one. All the broken boats. Guarded treasure, okay, so what's guarding it? A night wraith, oh geez, level 15. Yeah, nope, bye bye. Night Wraith isn't the scary part, the level 15 is. Because, <laughs> granted I've leveled up a, a few times since the last time I hit a level 15 anything, but anytime I fight a level 15, anything in that caliber, it has a tendency to uh, not go well for me. Alright, this one next. This barrel is here. It has some wire. That is just a whole, this is like a ship graveyard. These people don't glow red. So but they do have red dots on my map, so they are therefore bad. Excellent. I still don't know what triggers those finishers, but uh, it's cool when they happen. Something glowing red and sparkling. Pirate's notes. All right. Yesterday we found a silver basin and ruby brooch on the bottom. Means Queen Zuleika's treasure really is somewhere around here. Maybe in the hold of one of the wrecked ships off the west coast. But we can't check them at the moment. Waves are too high. We'll have to wait till the sea's calm. We're pitching camp. Wanna bet that that's what, um... What that Night Wraith was guarding?
Let's see, on the map, where does that, this quest send me? That's the guarded treasure. Ah, but Queen Zuleika's treasure is sending me further north. Okay. Yeah, sure, let's go after it. Looks like some drowners down there. Something to loot here. Uh, thread, Lesser Zoria, Runestone, and White Rathard's Decoction. Lots of enemy markers in the water, so I'm just going to try and hop island to island. and try and not engage the Night Wraith. got their attention. I'm just going to try and run for it. <laughs> Definitely saw something in this ship. Ah, there's a yellow thing there. That's water. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I need to meditate. Cannot do that now, of course, because uh, there are enemies nearby. Alright, let's uh, then use some food.
Now let's wait a moment for the blurriness effect to go away. And eat a few more things to heal up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to call an end to the episode here. Uh, you know the drill. Click over there. Join me next time as we figure out how the heck we're going to get to this queen's treasure. See you then.